We'd like to thank our sponsor, Game Up, for supporting the podcast. Game Up makes a thirst quenching adult beverage with a special blend of electrolytes, fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Lemon, lime being my favorite, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. And it's only 110 calories per can. So enjoy with no guilt let's get to the main event and co-main event also before co-main event just shout out to adrian yanez he got a very good tko got back in the win column and also angela hill she got a submission which we know she's a you know muay thai fighter for the most part but she got a submission and i believe she got a performance of the night from that so shout out to them couple of great vets at this point i guess you can call yanya as a vet at this point but co-main event chaos williams versus yes. carlson harris i picked harris by first round anaconda but i said that there was always a chance with chaos's touch of death power that he could catch him and that's what he did he got him in round one harris for some reason thought it was a good idea to strike with chaos in the yeah. pocket, which no welterweight should be striking with chaos williams in the pocket you gotta snipe him from range if you want to stand up with him but brutal ko chaos needs a big fight next i think yeah I, I did well on my predictions for the fights i didn't see <laughs> actually did better this week so i definitely do think he's a guy that's going to be knocking on that door for a big fight he's exciting he's a guy that could definitely be star maker potential right there yeah maybe him and buckley that would be a fun fight i know they're both kind of on their way up so buckley probably yeah. doesn't want to fight down since he's calling out conor mcgregor and shit but that would be a fun fight if that did happen put him on the conor mcgregor card yeah. The main event, Edson Barboza versus Lerone Murphy. Murphy was undefeated coming into this great striker, but we know Edson is one of the greatest strikers in the UFC of all time. But Murphy looked phenomenal. He beat Edson around the octagon octagon for all five rounds he looked really good but barbosa also looked stiff and very slow yeah. so i don't maybe he had a bad camp or a bad weight cut or something but also maybe father time is just coming for him sometimes just is happens like the flip of a switch and hopefully that's not true but edson is like 38 years old so it could be that time for him so i'd like to see edson fight like uh one more time maybe a lower rank guy like uh alex caceres or sean woodson who just beat caceres last week or two weeks ago and yeah, murphy, murphy needs murphy needs a big fight uh, yeah. he's just in the top 15 now after this for sure so he needs a top 10 opponent probably yeah be interesting to see where you could run. I mean, he, I, I wouldn't want to put him in there with too high a rank guy yet. You're not looking at like your um, Yair's or Ortega's yet. No, no, no. Maybe a Calvin Cater? Yeah, that, that could work. Yeah, Calvin's got on his way down there. So, yeah, yeah. back division. So it, it's tough. Yeah. But. No matter what, yeah, the more you go up in that division, the tougher it gets. 